Once again, Shalom to all the sincere brothers, sisters, and children of Israel. First and foremost, we give all the praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rikar Kodash. I love to give double honors to our true teachers, our apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to our sincere brothers pushing this word throughout the four corners of the earth, risking their lives week in and week out to feed the lost sheep of Israel and Shalom to the hopeful elect. We forever give our praises and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shai. Our man, so be true. Lord willing, we make it into the kingdom of heaven that we could get to praise and glorify our Heavenly Father in a perfect state. Amen. So be true. Suffering within the truth. And it's only one truth. There is only one truth. And when the Lord calls you into this truth, it is what it is. You're meant to suffer. But it's not all peaches and cream. Because Christians think that as soon as you, 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 you give your life to so-called Jesus Christ, I hate to use that name, you're happy. You know, smooth sailing. But you have to be prepared when you come into this truth, when the Lord calls you. So this is all about the suffering within the truth. The only one truth. There's a hundred percent truth. And there's only one. Not many. It can't be split up. A little bit here, a little bit there. No, it's one hundred percent truth. The doctrine is one hundred percent truth. True. Now, this is done about three years ago. I don't know, maybe I saw this already. Maybe brothers brought this out already over the years. And Lord willing, I'm going to put the uh, this video here in the description box. It's only about, uh, uh, let me see, it's about 3 minutes and 52 seconds long. And it says, cop caught arresting the, the wrong man. In racial profiling incident. The wrong man. And what does that say? But before I go even further. I was going to forget this. Before I get into the video. I want to say this. As you can see the man here. Yeah the so called black man. To the left. He's got long hair. And we have to prove all things because it says there's it's many scriptures to prove that a man shouldn't have long hair. So before I start it, let me bring this out. 1 Corinthians 11, verse 14 to 15. Doth not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him? It states that, and it's many scriptures talk about having long hair. Verse 15, but if a woman have long hair, so out of the two, yeah, the Lord created man and woman. The woman is the one that should have the long hair, not the man. But if a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her, for her hair is given her for a covering. So I just need to like, get that out of the way before I forget. I was going to bring that out last of all, but no, let me just bring it out first. So you can investigate, and we all know that already, about man having long hair. Okay? But the point is what I'm using this video to show that when, you, when the Lord calls you to this truth, you're made to suffer. And on top of it now, suffer wrongfully. But everything's for the will of the Lord. 
suffer wrongfully. Yeah, so cop caught arresting the wrong man in the racial profile, profiling. And I think the policeman, you could watch it in the description box, Lord willing. And he went to his house, police officer went to his house and accused him of, um, you know, such a such a thing. Yeah, but you'll see, it's only a short video, a clip. Right? He was, he was okay with it. You know, he got a little bit irate, but he kept his cool. But when the policemen decided to fall back because they realized that they made a mistake, he started to get a little bit more irate. You know what I mean? So it's all about remaining calm till the end. Because we're going to be persecuted. We're going to be persecuted. And we just have to remain calm, you know? Harmless. From the from the beginning to the end, yeah, there's no point fighting back. So let's start with Matthew, chapter five, verse eleven to twelve. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you, and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely. Falsely, this man was falsely accused for my sake. But this man was falsely accused for whatever reason we don't know. Well, I don't know. But in terms of being falsely accused for the Lord, our power, Yahweh Shem Yahshai, that is a different level altogether. Yeah. Rejoice. And being exceedingly glad, exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven, only if for the Lord's sake. For so persecuted they, the prophets, which were before you. So the prophets are always being persecuted, wrongfully. First uh, Peter 3, verse 13 to about 18. And who is that will harm you if ye be followers of that which is good? Like, like I said, we don't know what this man has been doing in his lifetime. Are we all once there? So we I don't know the situation. But he was accused wrongfully. But and if ye suffer for righteousness' sake, happy are ye. And be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. This is what we have to pay close attention to. Yes, we don't know how it's going to play out. But yes, our heart is going to beat faster than normal when that time comes. Your blood is going to raise. Yeah, you're going to start to panic. We're in the flesh. But in the deep down, you know that the spirit has got you. And this is what we need to know. We need to pray for that time to come that, yes, that we know, set your mind, get in his mindset that when that time comes, you have to go into a different mode. You say, Yahweh Sham Yahshai, you're in charge. And that's it. You're still going to be nervous because that's the flesh. <laughs> Neither be troubled, but sanctify the Lord our power in your hearts. Wow, 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 wow. But sanctify the Lord in your hearts. Get it in your mind. Get it straight. And be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks of you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Having a good conscience that whereas they speak evil of you as of evildoers, they may be ashamed that falsely accuse your good conversation in the anointing, Yahweh HaMashiach. For it is better. For it is better. If the will of Yahweh HaMashiach be so that ye suffer, 
suffer for well doing than for evil doing. So listen to me. Let this be a blessing upon you, apostles. Come right down, doing the will of the Lord and our Father, Heavenly Father, in sincerity. The Lord is seeing your works. For it is better if the will of Yahweh Shom Yahshai be so that ye suffer for well doing than for evil doing. And we know we're not perfect, you know. A righteous man falls seven times. It doesn't have to mean seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah? It's not about the one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock rock. It's not. It's seven times this means completion. It could be a hundred times because we, we fall any t all the time. We even fall when we don't even know when we're doing right or wrong. We don't even know. We still fall. It's the mercy of Yahweh Shem Yahshai. The mercy. Not even mercy. Mercies. The Lord is so merciful. Merciful. You remember the, the, the cup floweth over. What does that mean? The, when you fill up that cup with that pure wine, it flows over. Full. And it flows over. The Lord is mercy and full of it till it overflows for his tender mercies, his mercies. For Yahweh HaMashiach also have once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to Yahweh. Oh boy being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. This is why we have to praise Yahweh Shai. We praise him. Because he was put to death for the just and for the for the just and for the unjust. Hey, I'm still in Peter, you know, still in Peter. And this is the last one. 1 Peter 2, verse 19 to 20. For this is the thankworthy. This, for this is thankworthy. If a man for conscious, conscience toward our power, Yahweh Basham Yashai, endure grief, suffering wrongfully, suffering wrongfully and this is what we're doing they, when they grab us up when they grab us up it's like what that man's grabbing up that man it's only they're grabbing us up because we're serving the lord because we taught the truth i kill you and kill me what we what, what, what we do you what did i do to you because i speak the truth and you want to grab me up how dare you I'm only calling on the name of the Lord. I'm only calling on my power. His name is Yahweh and his son is Yahweh Shai. I'm only calling on those names. And the Lord says that I must feed the sheep. That's all I'm doing. That's all we are doing, feeding the sheep. The Lord says to us, do not be carnally minded. We're not coming to hurt you. But these words, you know, cut like a two-edged sword. It cuts. For what glory is it if when ye be buffeted for your faults, ye shall take it patiently? But if when ye do well and suffer for it, ye take it patiently, this, I'm going to say this very slowly. And actually, I'm going to rewind that again. I'm going to go back to number 20. Verse Peter 2, verse 20. I have to say that again. For what glory is it if when ye be buffeted 
for your faults, ye shall take it patiently. But if when ye do well, you see anything that anything that is pleasing to the Lord is doing the will, is 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 pleasing to the Lord. It's pleasing to him. Anything that he's doing to the Lord, right? The will of it, the what what come on man, come on. When ye do well and suffer for it, ye take it patiently. And that's long suffering. Because patience is long suffering. We have to take this every day. This is acceptable with Yahweh Basham Yahshai. No, nothing can go above that. The Lord our power is higher than the heavens above and beneath. You cannot get around that. This is acceptable with Yahweh Basham Yahshai. To be buffeted for your thoughts, doing the will, your suffering, grief. Suffering wrongfully. So at the end again, it boils down to suffering within the truth. And I pray that you remain faithful and true to the end. Faithful and true to the end. There's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do. We just have to keep on rehearsing, rehearsing the righteous acts. Rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. And just wait to see, you know, if we are favoured in that day. Shalom.